So today I'm going to uh, make an effort to get to the Tatev Monastery, which is in a remote location, um, about 30 kilometers from Goris, where I'm staying. Goris is behind me. I've just walked up the hill. I'm going to hike up to Heliad Zor, which is about 18k up a very steep hill. Uh, I might try and hitchhike if a vehicle comes, that will that will certainly help me along the way, uh, to the Tatev uh, cable car, which is uh, the longest cable car in the world apparently 5.7 uh, kilometers of cable car up to the Tatev Monastery which should be incredible hopefully I'll make it there there goes my first ride a nice young guy uh, in a in his car he's just brought me up the hill he's off to work somewhere and he was happily brought me up here which has saved me a huge walk up a steep hill so I'm on my way this is a very remote road going to Heliodor. I'm quite surprised in the last hour or so only two vehicles have passed me. Well, one picked me up and brought me three kilometres and that's it. I haven't seen another one since. This side of the road is just lined with blackberry bushes. They're all in flower. The blackberries aren't quite out yet. It's a shame if it was a bit later in the season I could be gorging myself with juicy berries. So uh, I got picked up, I came along the road and a friend of mine from the hostel, <laughs> this is Roxanne from Holland, she, uh, she was hitchhiking also, she got picked up by a guy and they picked me up too which was fantastic and um, he, the guy dropped us off and then we came to a junction on the road, some Russians came past, two lovely Russians in a car and they were coming to the wings of Tatev so we've made it here, I don't have to walk the 12 kilometers I thought I was going to and now we're going to take the cable car. Fantastic! The wings of Tatev Ariel Tremway 5,752 meters Guinness Book of Records the longest double track cable car in the world so let's get that right um, took 10 months to construct it's going to take about 10 minutes to take us to Tatev so I've bought my return tickets to Tatev on the cable car. It's going to cost 7,000 return um, and I've got to choose my time. So I'm going at 11.30 and come back at 3.30, which should give me enough time up at Tatev. And um, cable car heads this way, up into the mountains, I think. Somewhere in those clouds is Tatev. Looks an incredible location. Really excited about it. So this is the road going up to Tata that we would have driven up with the came as well. This is a natural duck formed above the Borotang River. It is 30 meters long, 60 meters wide, or 100 by 200 so that cable car ride was nothing short of spectacular that's all i can say my legs are still shaking a little bit after 10 minutes of flying over the valleys and now i'm going to visit um Tatev monastery which is right behind me The monastery at Tatev is surrounded by these medieval walls like fortifications that you can walk around and see if we can see the view from the edge and you can look out across the valley to the river below and see what an awesome location this place is. Unbelievable. It's definitely worth coming to Tatev. This place is incredible. Like for a thousand years people have been coming here and worshipping and it means so much to them. There's like medieval relics everywhere. Stone walls are like a castle and the views are just spectacular. By your own steam is that you can take your time and stay as long as you like 
so I've got a couple of hours up here and I'm gonna enjoy the scenery of the church and the surroundings and I'm gonna head on up to a viewpoint up the top there it's supposed to be a great view over the monastery and the valley below have a bit of a picnic and take it easy I've found the perfect picnic spot on a hill above Tatip Monastery. Uh, it's above the viewpoint uh, which is on the road just below me. I've got the ultimate view of the valley below and the monastery below me. I'm in the shade, the wind's blowing, so it's a perfect spot. It's nice and quiet. And I've got the classic picnic from the uh, Caucasus region, which comprises of uh, chechil, string cheese, lavash bread, tomato, cucumber, and uh, for dessert, some church keller, the dessert made from walnuts and grapes. Back in time for the 3.30 cable car, and at the moment, looks like I've got it to myself. This could be too good to be true. Surely, might just be me and the guide. It's time to hit back home. It's very windy, but the guide says it's normal. I hope so. It's starting to shake a little. It's like we're going straight into the cliff face. We head not now. As part of the Tante Revival project. Oh, my ears just popped. The cableway in Katata is 5,752 meters long, or about three and a half miles. The highest point of the journey is 320 meters, and the average speed of the cabin is 36 kilometers, or 22 miles an hour. Shaky, shaky. A nice local chap who's brought me three kilometers down the road to the local village, Shin I think it's called. Uh, so 3k down, about 13 to go. So I've just walked a couple more kilometers um, and I made a choice back there. There's a main road which takes a bit longer, a couple of, uh, quite a few kilometers longer to go to Goris. Um, and if I walk that way and don't get a ride, then I've got to walk a lot further, or I've took the nice, quiet back road to Goris, which means there's hardly going to be any traffic, so the chance of getting a ride is pretty slim. But it's really beautiful, so if I have to hike the next 11 kilometers and it takes me three hours, it'll be a nice walk. Okay, so that was good fun. Behind me, uh, there's a load of workmen and they're putting up pylons uh, in the middle of nowhere. And I'm walking along and the guy comes out and has a little chat to me in Russian, my very basic schoolboy Russian. Tell him a bit about myself and he's like, why are you walking? Oh, it's nice around here. Anyway, I keep walking and then they start driving down the road. They're going to pick up the next uh, 
the next pylon which they're just spraying up down there in their silver paint to make it weatherproof I suppose so uh, anyway they gave me a lift this far probably about two kilometers down the road helps me out a little bit and they insisted that I helped them spray the pylon so uh, they gave me the spray gun and I spent a few minutes spraying their pylon for them so I've earned my keep in that respect and uh, I've learned a new trade brilliant traveling uh, opens all sorts of doors to different opportunities I suppose anyway back to the road guy just put me up in his Uaz lovely old Russian truck up there and um, brought me down another kilometre or so he's another one of the workers but he brought me down to a water source down here uh, where you can pick up nice fresh water uh, so I got my water bottle filled up uh, from a natural spring and I've got loads of cold water now and I've come another few K all good so a soldier's just picked me up in his ladder and um, I'm going to his house for beers. I offered to buy them but he insisted so he's gone in the shop now to buy beers and I'm going for a beer with a soldier. We're back in Goris. So it's uh, about five hours since that last video in the car and uh, I spent the last five hours in this soldier's house and wow what an experience. Um, he wouldn't um, take no for an answer. He took me home, introduced me to the family um, bought out the beer, bought out the vodka, bought out the ochi, which is like a mulberry um, spirits drink. Uh, bought out the wine, bought out the food, uh, sala, which is like pig fats from his pigs that he made himself. Uh, all sorts of food specialities from Armenia, incredible. Um, after a couple of hours, I says, oh, I've got to get back. You know, the wife's at the hotel. And he was like, no, 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 let's go and get her. So we went back and got Mandy and brought her back. And we had a family evening together. And it was just like incredible Armenian hospitality uh, from a guy that drove past me. I wasn't even hitchhiking. He just pulled up and like, you're coming with me. <laughs> Felt like I was kidnapped or something. But just the most incredible experience ever. Like... Um, it's been fabulous. It's been fantastic. Uh, the hitchhiking experience, uh, going to Tatev and back again, and the people I've met along the way, the Armenians have been awesome. And um, I can't say any more, really. Absolutely incredible. Nice one.